U.S. Open Eight Ball Championship. We are hosted here in Las Vegas, Nevada, at Griff's Bar and Billiards. The event is proudly presented by Q Sports International, and our sponsors for the event include the Rio Hotel and Casino, Simonis, Diamond, Cyclone, Acme Cases, and Predator 1080 Pure Chalk. We're being streamed on playcsipool.com. And we are now up to our final match of the event. And what a great matchup it is again. If you weren't here last Saturday for the finals of the US Open 10 ball, these two great players met in the finals of the 10 ball. If you weren't here last year for the US Open 8 ball, these two great players met in the finals of the US Open 8 ball last year. So right now, let's introduce our two players. First up, coming up from the one loss side, he's from the United States of America. He's sponsored by Q-Tech, USA Pool League, and Ultimate Team Gear. He is the five-time US Open nine ball champion. He is the current US Open 10 ball champion after winning his third US Open 10 ball championship in a row last Saturday. We put our hands together for Shane Van Boning. <laughs> and his opponent, so far undefeated in the tournament, he hails from Canada. He's sponsored by Ariel Carmeli Cues, Le Spot Billiards, Three Second Cases, and Behind the Rock. He is a Canadian 9 and 10 ball champion, and he is the reigning champion of the U.S. Open 8 ball. We put our hands together for Alex Hagelayan! <laughs> this is 8 ball. One race to 10, alternate break, rack your own. Gentlemen, your referee for the match is Mr. Gennaro Vasquez. And right now, I'd like to turn it over to my two esteemed colleagues in the booth, Freddie Ognier and George Teachea. Gentlemen, take it away. And gentlemen, have a great match and good luck. And here we go once again. Freddie Ognier here with George Teachea. Howdy, everybody. This is it. Finals of the 2018 U.S. Open Eight Ball Championship here at Griff's Bar and Billiards. Alex Pagolayan out of the winner's bracket, and Shane Van Boning fighting through the one loss side. And determinedly so, he wants his revenge from last year. Last year. Uh, Alex <laughs> picked his pocket to, he did. to win the championship last year. And this year, uh, I'm telling you, this guy is on a mission. As he showed us in the 10 ball, he. Uh, what was sent over to the one lost side and he came back with a vengeance and uh, last couple matches he was just he truly looked unbeatable uh, but here he's he's won a couple of hill hill matches uh, to get to where he's at and actually struggled in both a little bit I would say I'd uh, say so he had uh, every he, opportunity he, got beat. he had ever he gave up opportunities to, to, to lose the match but still made it made through. Made it through, heart of a champion. Uh, that's, and that's exactly what champions do. This is why he's where he's at. He rolled through Torsten Holman uh, in the finals of the one loss side, the semifinals, mm -hmm. we would call it. And uh, Torsten was a little uh, shaky, I think, after his last night loss to Alex. Alex, yeah. yeah so he was. let's see how that plays in. Shane Van Boning has won the lag. It's one race to 10 in the finals of the US Open 2018, the US Eight Ball Championship. Mm -hmm. And getting to where he's at, Shane went through players with the likes of Brandon Chuff, Josh Roberts. He lost to Eklund Kachi, and then he defeated Shane McMinn, Warren Kiampo, Oscar Dominguez, Dennis Arcoyo, and Thorsten Homan. Uh, pretty good. Now at, at the table, he hit pretty good. Is right. That pretty break good again. break. Pretty that good break. break. Again. The three ten or three twelve, right in the center of the table, looked to be the challenge. And the fact that all these balls are sitting in the middle of the table, they, they, none of them are really touching, nothing on a rail, but the balls are kind of bunched up in the middle. 
Strange spread here. Yeah, speaking of challenges, how do you line up uh, six balls, seven <laughs> balls across the middle of the table there? Yeah, other than when you're, when and you're they're hand, perfectly right? lined up. Yeah, they're, they're, there's actually five balls. Is it five? Six in the cue ball. And uh, wow. So we've had some uh, unique designs on the table with the balls, with some of these hard yeah. breaks. The three ball must go up table by the same pocket that the six ball just went in. This is short a little bit. He's got the one. Now he's got to do a little maneuvering. Now he's got to look at the three. It's always funny when, you know, from up here, you, you think he, it must go because he's already shot the six ball, and then he p took another peek. Maybe it was his first mm -hmm. time he took a peek. Well, peekaboo or not, uh, he's at the table working his way through the solids, and he does not want Alex to come to the table. He just wants to, you know, keep Alex in his chair if he can. But it's his break, and his break and run to do. Looks like if the three ball goes, he's going to play position for the four ball in the side pocket. He's playing position for the four now. Yeah, right there. And, and if he can stop this ball, if the three goes. If it doesn't go, he'll yeah, break it out. Yeah, he's got an angle to break it there. Seven perfect. and five are just picture perfect for the place to play position. No. He's hitting low, so that, that three must go. Boy, from that angle, it doesn't look like it has a, a chance to go, but... We a do snowball's have, chance? Yeah, <laughs> but we do have a bad angle. I suspect that he will play the three ball and then the five ball. Give him more room to stay away from the eight ball. The eight ball passes the 14, doesn't it, George? Uh, yes, he's he's pretty much out. He's pretty a good. stop shot there, and he's... Well, he decided to play the uh, seven ball first, so the five ball passes both directions. But he's got an angle here. This is just, yeah, he yeah, can, this he, is ideal. He can either hold it on the rail there or come back out for the five. Keep going. He's short. He's yeah, got yeah. to give it there as the hand flip. That's kind of why I like holding it on the rail. Yeah. He's probably got a nice an angle he can draw into the 13. If he goes forward and up, he needs guys to guard against coming up short. But he's got a big landing zone if he goes forward. For the side pocket? Uh, I think for the corner pocket, this corner pocket. Oh, he's going real slow. Mm -hmm. I like this. Oh, he's got a big. <laughs> mm -hmm. He'd have to miss this very badly to to miss this. Well, making this eight ball, uh, we'll bring Alex to the table, and he'll show off his magnificent break. But he's still got to make this ball. This ball, uh, will he play yeah. it off the fifteen or just play it straight in? Straight in, but there's one that one spot that there doesn't it is. go. Straight in. Straight in, all right. You know, Alex has been, uh, from what I've seen here, and what I recall seeing at least, Alex was running out like better eight ball patterns. Mm -hmm. Well, Alex, uh, Alex's trip to the final match here, to the finals, uh, he defeated Cole Hogart, Ronnie Alcano, Warren Kiamko, Eklund Kachi, and Torsten Homan. Straight through, undefeated. Um, His match versus uh, Clenty was pretty spectacular. I mean, yeah, it was. He, he won it pretty yeah, handily, he, too. He won it pretty handily. Yeah. And uh, Kachi had a few, a couple of dry breaks, and really that was the big difference. And he punished him for everyone. Everyone, yeah. So uh, dry breaks will cost you in this match, um, so history says. There was 39 entrants. We're down to the final two. These two gentlemen right here. One takes home the big cup and $9,000. The other takes home the little cup and $6,000. Oh, the five ball almost went in. It didn't. The ball went in. Alex has both a seven ball and an 11 ball available. Looks like the three ball by the eight ball forces low balls. Mm. You know, I'm looking at some of the um, accomplishments from Alex in this this year. He's won two big tournaments, uh, Midwest Pro-Am one pocket and the Scotty Townsend Memorial one pocket, both one pocket tournaments. He's got some seconds. He's got some fourths. World Pool Masters, West Coast Challenge one pocket, uh, 10 ball, uh, just on down the line. Uh, Alex looks like he's going to play the 11 ball and clear out the two which would open up a pocket for the eight ball, I believe. Mm -hmm. So once he does this, as long as he has a shot, because he's gone, he's run way too far. 
He's not going to like it. What could he possibly shoot at here? He's definitely not going to like it. What could he possibly shoot at? That was an odd first shot. I know he wanted to clear out the two, but he hit it so hard. He had so many balls to play position for him up here. Anything? I see nothing, George. He might be able to cut that 10 ball, but it's an extreme cut. Oh, it's an extreme cut, but it cuts. It cuts. It might be his only shot. It might be. That's, that's fair. That's true. And sometimes you're just forced into shots like this because where do you play safe? You no, run yeah. it up against the one. Uh, you can't get, there's not really a ball available to get behind. That's Overcut it. Oh my goodness. Overcut the room rent. As, as, as is, I say from time to time. You know, sometimes on a shot like that, we tort, sort of just say cut it as thin as possible, but <laughs> cutting it as thin as possible is overcut. Well, you, you don't normally uh, figure to cut it, overcut, overcut that shot. Right. You barely have anything to, to hit. Well, Shane is playing the five ball in the side pocket. If it goes and the one ball seems to be the only challenge here, and if he can't get to the one ball now, he'll just get to the six ball to get to the one. <laughs> the one actually goes in both corner pockets. In fact, there really doesn't look to be any issue for Shane here. He's not going to shoot this. Okay, he's, he's staying down. Looks like he's going to stand back up. Look out. Too straight. Oh, he got a nice rub. Got a nice rub on that 11 ball. He's got a little bit of an angle. It can certainly come out. Six balls in the middle of the table. No problem for him. No. Let's see Shane work his magic. Is he running out again? He will be. He's looking for the three ball, which was the only trouble ball, if we want to call it that. And once he gets this, there'll be no trouble. There's only four balls left on the table. Fargo, why Shane has an 818 compared to Alex's 8804, I believe. I gave that to you from memory. <laughs> 818 to 804 sounds right. It does. Alex usually flirts around the 805 number. 802. He's actually dropped two, three points in the past um, six weeks. Delicate shot there. Well, once again, Shane looks like he, he's looking at eight ball in the side pocket, which, you know, he does it all the time, no problem, but the rest of us are playing for corner pockets. And this is 2-0. 2-0 and the break. Wow. You know, whenever you mention top players in the world, these two always oh. come to everybody's mind. I don't think they're ever left out of the conversation. <laughs> That's right. Um, and the, the matches these guys have had have been... I guess you could call him epic. Epic. A lot of epic matches. So it's no surprise we see him here once again, especially after last year's. If Shane can pull off uh, an up, an, not an upset, if Shane can pull this off and uh, get his revenge on Alex and win this tournament, uh, it'll be uh, two out of three years that he's won both the 10 ball and the 8 ball U.S. Open right, championships right. Uh, here at Griff's and at the Rio. Uh, one year would have been uh, the seven-foot tables, and these last two, of course, have been on nine-foot tables. Um, you know, fans, pool fans, aficionados, players have requested, we want to play on the big tables. We don't want to play on the seven-foot tables. And so here they are, playing on the, on the nine-foot tracks, on the big track. If Shane come, goes on to win this and uh, win both eight ball and the ten ball in this year, and as you said, Two out of three years, he was one a hair's breadth away from doing that last year as well. Because sure, he, came in he was second. a runner-up. Uh, all right, so as close as you can get to getting three. Doubles. Exactly, you, you don't get any closeness to losing the finals. Uh, 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 Hill, yeah. Hill, that's 
<laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and it was Hill Hill. Just the way he won a couple of his matches, his opponents broke dry when they were Hill Hill, and he, he took Walked care of the business. Door. He, they opened the door and he uh, walked right through. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's how it happened to him. He broke, actually he broke and scratched. This is yet again wide open for Shane, low balls. Really he's got that break going. Alex is gonna have his hands full. Oh, this is pretty. Considering this is pretty. Shane doesn't look like he's gonna give it up again. They've released the Kraken. <laughs> Just watch him play here. This guy can be a monster when he's in the final. Two ball to the six ball. Six ball to the seven ball. And really all he has to do is get an angle so he can go down table Those, yeah, for this three ball. And he'll get that angle coming off the seven. He comes all the way down for the five and the three. And then the, uh, the three eight ball, ball in the, the same side, side pocket. pocket again. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, wow. Get rid of that magic rag. Don't let that hang over the rail. One rail. He's got. He ends up having to go high on the 14, so he's going to have a little bit of cut on the three ball. And let's make sure that dies out there. Oh, he's hit this perfect. Get down there and die. And there's, no your, there's your stop shot on the three, and the two rail right for the eight in the side. Two rail follow. He didn't just stop it. I guess he had a little angle, had but he still angle. got the same uh -huh. shot. Two rails, high and spin. This will be his third game, and I believe all three will go right to that same side pocket. <laughs> Is he getting a little predictable? Uh, maybe, maybe. It's kind of like when Larry Bird decided to throw every ball in left-handed for almost an entire game. This looks like maybe Shane is going to try <laughs> to figure out a way to hit the eight ball in the side pocket, the right side pocket as we view yeah. it for every game. So far it's three out of three. Three nothing. Shane Van Boning off to a great start. He's probably the best front runner when he's galloping. You know? <laughs> well when he's focused like this and and as he did on the ten ball uh, right there he's looked well he's been perfect. Yeah. He's been perfect. And we have seen in 2016, we did see a perfect match out of Shane in the eight ball against Josh Roberts. Yeah, on the small track. On the small track, though. So there is a difference. Um, and so far, we're seeing the same work here <laughs> on the big track. Alec has only come up to the break. No, well, he had that one shot after the break, too, oh, and he got bad on a ball, and he had to play the back cut and overcut it. Let's see if Alex can get get it going here. He needs help from Shane, but he certainly needs to help himself. Well, he's got that ball in the side pocket. and um, Great way to start here. High sure. balls is, is beautiful, and uh, unless he really loses control, I believe that he should run out. You look at this 15 to make sure it goes, which it does. You can see it right there. It goes right between the two and the 11 ball. Mm -hmm. First shot is a dead hanger, nine ball. Boy, this is looking good for Alex. But he still has to get it done. A lot of times, you know, the rack can look as good as you want it to. You still have to do it. There's no and way he's hitting the low balls. <laughs> Well, if he takes the, if he would take the low balls, his opening shot is the seven. <laughs> Which goes. He can play to the corner or the side, more than likely the corner. He, funny did, ma he yeah. did make a solid, but he's, is he playing the set, 10 ball on the side? side? No. That doesn't seem uh, likely either. That's a hard shot from there. He's close to it, but it is a hard shot. Well, hardish. Hardish for, yeah, it is relatively difficult. Mm -hmm. The way he's lined up on it makes it, you know, something you wow, would think he about is shooting. shooting the seven ball. 
Okay. I mean, there really is. This is not a problem to get to, well, to do it, but he's got to make the first one. Well, let's see what happens if he shoots a seven. He stops the cue ball right about there someplace, and he has everything, access to it's every shot throw, from there. But the four ball goes after the three ball. The one ball is up table. I, There's no reason not to. And just like on the stripes, there's really no reason, no to, reason not to them either. Exactly. Yeah. So Seems it's just, like you know, heads I win, tails you lose. Just shoot one and get going. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. After all is said and done, he goes back to exactly the same <laughs> shot that we said 10 minutes ago. See ya. Oh, my goodness. What is, I guess that's a, the perfect shot. He felt like drawing a Z on the table is what that was. He's not playing the 10 ball like that. Boy, every time Alex shoots, I have no idea what he's doing. I had a talk with him, and he said he would keep you confused. But maybe that's it. Position on the 15 for the corner sure. pocket. Why not? The only question now is at what point? There you go. He's put, hung the magic rack. He's dropped it on the floor. He'll put it on. He'll drape it on the table now. Alex has a, a standing love affair with that magic rack. He continues to hang it off the table, drop it on the floor. He's just not real concerned with it. In all his matches, we've had fun talking about uh, him moving it around and uh, leaving it around. He's concerned with playing pool. <laughs> the magic rack is a maintenance. Is there a referee around? Take care of it. Handle there it. There you go. It. Handle that. Yeah. Gennaro Vasquez, the... He's presiding. Referee, referee. Yeah, he he's, is. He is he's there someplace. Yeah, he's sitting back in the corner with JP. He wants to make sure he has an angle after he shoots his 11 ball because he has to go up table. And there it he's is. He's got an angle. Two balls up table, the 13 on the rail on the right, and then the 10 ball uh, close to the middle of the table on the, on the right also for the opposite pocket. Uh oh, he's going to have to shoot the 10 ball, I believe. Well, yeah, he has to shoot yeah. the 10. And it's it's the right shot anyway. But yeah, the 8 ball goes, so there's no, there's no concerns here. Except getting back down close to the 8 to have an easy shot. Oh, it. there's a concern. That's uh, a stretching miss. I guess it's a stretching miss, but it certainly looked like on the ball down table when he ran two rails. I thought he was shooting the 13, and it came out a little bit not as sharp as he wanted and then he was forced to shoot the 10 which wasn't a bad shot at all but I don't think that was the shot he was going to shoot mm -hmm. therefore he didn't commit to it well fortunately for Shane <laughs> if there's any kind of fortune he's at the table so that's his fortune but the 10 ball does, does not block the one so he'll right. have a he'll have a nice shot on the, on the one ball um, because if the 10 ball blocks it, of course, he would have played shape there for the opposite corner. This is going to be 4 nothing with Shane yeah, breaking sure in about uh, 29 seconds. No, he's not going to run it that fast. <laughs> he, doesn't, he, he rarely does run through racks like that. A little more cerebral playing. Yeah, Freddie just doesn't want you to leave your seat at home and no, uh, don't go, go, to go the run fridge. to the bathroom. That's, That's right. right. We want you right here because we have some, some uh, big announcements to make. Oh, boy. That's going to cause trouble. <laughs> I did. We don't have any big announcements to make. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> the big announcement is the score may be four to zero in a second or two. Yeah. Well, he's Shane has played the five ball here, and he's come up short yeah, several times here. So see, it feels like he really has to make sure he gets on this three ball. He likes to draw this up. No, he's not drawing. He's going up. Okay. Up to the three ball. Up and around. Got to get there. And just to keep us uh, talking, he's going to shoot the eight ball on the side again. No, he won't. I think <laughs> it's too tough of a shot. You never know. But See uh, this? Here <laughs> it comes. He went just a little high. He'll play it in the same pocket as the four. Here comes the... F oh, that's too bad. I would have loved to have seen if she got eight ball on the side. Should have asked him yet again. Yeah. Uh, Alex does not need to be making mistakes in wide open racks like that because there's, there are, he's already near... He's at four in a race to ten and breaking. He could be halfway there in... Uh, well, longer than 28 seconds, you know, maybe two minutes and 28 seconds. Well, he's halfway to a perfect uh, match. Perfect match. Well, last year he was also up quite a bit. Needs to close it out. Mm -hmm. 
telling you, this guy, if you put him in a final match and, and he just um, starts stroking the ball, it's just uh, great to watch. It's just great to watch. Get the line to break again. His hand very doesn't nice. move. Very nice. He's going to have a shot here on the six ball. And let's see if low balls are good. The seven ball, right in the rack area, it goes. So, can do that. Let's see now if they have a referee. Says, you want to get the rack? But the four five is tied up. Can Shane play the one and bump the five? If he can, he probably will do that first. Shane's looking awfully good. Good view of uh, people around the table. Actually, it's pretty dark, so <laughs> it's, it's not a real good view. Not a great view, view but, but we you can have, see people back We there. do have some people around the table. You can see the 4 nothing score. That's the view yeah. we're looking at. Gennaro Vasquez is moving the rack. He's done. Mm -hmm. Shane is looking. Yeah, if he, can, uh, if he can actually tap on that 5, this rack goes down to this. It becomes the 7 ball. Yeah. This cue ball goes right into the five, yeah. shooting the one. And there's no reason he wouldn't shoot it, I don't think. But the only reason he wouldn't shoot this is if he can't move the five. Yeah. Certainly looks like there's no way he doesn't hit the five ball. Unless he hits it slow, slow, that it's the four ball instead. Just like that. The seven could be dicey. He's got a small landing window for it. But yeah. uh, he's, he's but looked at he, that he's area. He's got ways to go. All he has to do is come between the side pocket on the left, and he's looking at this now, and the dime, the middle diamond. So he's got that kind of a landing area to right. address the seven. It looks like he's going to go for it right here, two rails. The eight ball, on the other hand, is. Uh, oh, I guess not. Yeah, he might. He, be, he might be moving the eight here. Does he have enough angle to come over and move the eight? I think so. He's got the angle for it, but does he have enough? I think he does, and he's got the four ball and uh, the five ball for insurance. He's not even trying to move it. <laughs> Oh, I see what he's. I see how he's doing this. This could lead to trouble, but right, he's, he's aware of it, so I doubt that it does. I think that's it. He's, he is aware of it. He's on the wrong side because the eight ball has to be moved. Well, it, uh, yeah. It doesn't go anywhere, does it? I, I, mean, I thought it went past the around. nine, but right here it looks like it doesn't no. go past the nine. I don't think it has a. It has a pocket. And I think he needed to hold that cue ball uh, down. And if he moves the 10 ball, it starts then going. Then he's fine. Then it goes. It ain't hard then. Yeah, and that's all it is. Out of the way. And now he has the pocket on the left. And he can bring the cue ball um, to the side to pocket the side on the pocket, right. Yeah. Does he have an In angle area. here on this five ball? If he does. Yes, he does. He can bring he it just straight back. A little, yeah, a little straight back. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, his angle from the four to go to the the uh, low part of your table, your the table on your screen, and shoot the eight ball to the high part. He looks a little straight here, but he does have to follow, uh, uh, draw back. Mm -hmm. He looked at the angle, I guess he was looking at the angle off the four ball, and go two rails around to the wrong side, so he's got to flatten it out or get straighter on this four ball. Just a hair of a cut, so he can draw towards eight ball as we view it. Oh, hello. Is that enough? He, need, he wants the cue ball cleaned. Maybe when Gennaro puts it back down, he'll put it down one more, uh, one revolution away. A diamond to the... To I see, the, he just rolled it a little bit. This uh, little ball marker is uh, made in uh, California. It's about 40 bucks. It's a little piece of brass that has some weight on it, and little dimples. You can put your finger right on top of the dimple. See where he puts, puts it right there to uh -huh. hold it? 40 bucks when the players are using the piece of chalk. 
Yeah, I, I like. But that you're a one you're a you're an accessory collector. I am an accessory collector. I think I have two of them. Mm. <laughs> Never pull it out of the bag. Overcut it. Oh. Alex is going to steal one back here. He needs to because he's already down four to nothing. It took him four racks to show he's human. I'm not even sure he's done that yet, but. Well, missing we'll the find four ball. <laughs> You know, maybe he shouldn't have had that ball cleaned. He needed a skid to put that ball in the pocket to overcut it. You know, that break in time, it broke his rhythm. It broke his rhythm, yeah. Sure. <laughs> He's going to remember this. He could have been up five to nothing with a commanding lead. Two, break and, uh, two breaks of serve. Well, the mistake he made was not getting the ball over <laughs> off the five. Yeah. If there was a mistake, just made it a tough shot. And it's one of those shots that you, know, you can hit it good and still miss it. Well, he didn't like this angle before. But having the four ball where it is, Alex has no room for an error. Nope. And it's actually double pressure, for, especially for a lot of amateur players here. The double pressure comes from, you know you have to get out, you, know, you can't miss a ball, and you don't want to look like a dummy missing a ball. <laughs> That's triple. <laughs> well, then it's triple then pressure. Then it's triple. <laughs> the heat is on. Alex has put this in a position where he's going to have to play this with a bridge, the rake, and play position on the nine. He's either going to draw or slide to it. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, and the ball got rocked into the spot. Spot. He hits the 12, and it he, just He's stops scrambling, but I don't think he's supposed to, to be scrambling here. Now, see, if he follows the 12 ball, which he likes to do, it uh, the A ball remains in the way for the 9. Yeah, so he actually has to go underneath the eight ball for the nine. He has to go to the rail and back, <coughs> like that. He put a ton of inside mm -hmm. English on there. Mm -hmm. And he's still not out of his. Does he draw the straight back between these balls? No, he's going to follow yeah, one of the way. He's dead straight. He's following three rails. That's a lot of movement in eight ball. He might get choose him to up short to 13 and go go uh, go two rails with line shave for the 15. Hit the head rail, the side rail, and come towards the nine, uh, the 15. It's a pretty long distance shot for eight ball, and now he's coming. All right, he's good. He's recovered, he's closing the distance. He's already showing that he's come up short on that coming up the bottom rail one time. He'll probably come up short again. He didn't bother going to the rail, he just draws it. This was a similar shot that uh, Torsten Holman missed. Straight in shot, just make it. Yeah, it was. he was closer to the rail. Yes, he was. But uh, this is kind of the way the match went last year. Alex came from a long way back. Well, every game is important at this point when you're spotting the other guy four games before you win your first one. Sure. And Alex is walking out of the arena. No, yes, is it his is. break? Yes.
Fox is back here, racking the balls. Alex doesn't have the table down yet. He's, uh, he scrambled there with the wide open rack. We'll see how he does. He needs to put the pressure back on Shane. Shane started off with a four nothing lead. And he's able to steal a rack back from Shane. Mm -hmm. It was surprising that Shane didn't get out there. Okay. He back, one. He back cut that one ball and hung it up, right? Hung it up, yeah. Okay. Overcut it uh, right from the get go. Alex's break. Let's take a look at this. Let's, let's see his hand on the table. These I, I watched Torson had a great break, and I watched uh, his oh, hands yeah, the same way. Doesn't firm. move very firm. Strong. Look out. Okay. Well, you can see that the. 7.15 has sort of lined itself up. So why doesn't he shoot it now? Yeah, you can break him out with the, playing the 15 eventually. You can play the combination right now and take low balls. Shot after the break in CSI rules, you can use a strap, stripe to pocket a solid or a solid to pocket a stripe on the opening shot after the break. After that, of course, you have to select it to shoot at the set you've uh, pocketed. First contact has to be with, the, with the, one of your balls. Mm -hmm. And you must make contact. You must hit a rail after contact, or it's a foul, ball in hand foul, anywhere on the table. Cue ball uh, scratching uh, on the break is a foul, and you can put the cue ball anywhere on the table as opposed to other rules where you have to take cue ball behind the line. 15 in the corner. Trying to kick out this 14, which he did. Don't tie it up. Keep going, keep going. He, it's there, mm. I believe, maybe short. It's slowed down. He doesn't, he's not shaking his head. He's not shaking his head. The 13, does it pass the two ball? Doesn't There's a looking. 13 past the two ball. It does to the right side. Maybe <laughs> not so much to the left side. Oh, and does, your answer it is it does. It does. It seemed like it must because the way he shot that ball. Mm -hmm. Leave it all alone. And, and now the question is that four, fifth, the 14, which is slid up over there, doesn't go past the three ball. So he has to get up there. And he's got a decent landing zone over there if he can get on this nine ball correctly. Another odd shot. I mean, this seems strange to me that he would go there. Now he's giving himself a shot on the nine ball to come over for the 14 and shoot it in the same pocket. So you can see he has a plan. He's got a plan. Yeah. It's Don't go there, so I'll make it go over there. He's got to come straight across the table. Beautiful bump, jump, Judy. There you go. Straight in on the 11 ball or somewhere in that side would be all right. Got a shot. Needs to have a shot here on this uh, 11. And he can probably, well, since it does go, he can just get straight in on the 11 and stop I it. I think so. Mm -hmm. I was thinking if it doesn't go, he could give himself an angle on the 11 and come right into the 7 off of it. But there's no need for that. He's a little straight here, I guess. He's got to get this over as much as he can without putting it on the one ball. He hit the one ball. <laughs> he did a good job getting that ball over. Now, can he put his bridge hand down? I think he can. Oh, he's got anything he wants to do. He's got yeah, right-hander puts his bridge right by the one. And it has plenty of room. Let's see where he puts it. Behind the one, probably? Or in front? Let's give a, he on, the side, on the side. On yeah, the side. Right there, there you go. He's got a full stroke at it, so he'll draw mm -hmm. it up about four inches. No problems. Mm -hmm. 
Shocking. He drew it back well, the perfect amount, right? <sighs> and now he gets to watch Shane go to work. Shane has to break out the six ball. Wow. What? Mm -hmm. What a turn of events there. Easy out from there. <laughs> what does Shane do here? Two rails right to those balls? Or does the, does the yeah, two rails to the bottom side of the two ball, does that go? Yeah, it does. The bottom side of the two ball does go to the upper pocket on your screen. Um, what could he do here? What could he do? Well, he has to get good shape on the two, which would be right. He's going to look at this now. <laughs> right to the left of it. On the bottom side, come up into the uh, 11 and play the 11 in the, out of the way and play it in the side, the seven. Yeah. Or move it, move it. So he could either play the one ball and two rail it down here or he could play the yeah. three ball with a deep screw down here. He could also just bank the one ball into that ball that's hanging in the pocket and make it there and leave the <laughs> cue ball up there by the three. He won't give up a shot. But I doubt that he does that. I'm not sure. Let's see what he calls. Two railer on the one ball. Two railer on the cue ball, right? Yeah, okay. of course, on the one position. ball. <laughs> I just didn't understand that exactly. Gotta how go, you were gotta going go, there. gotta go. He got and, there. Uh, he got some plays. He can make the two, but he yeah, can't but break he, out the. Uh, yeah. Yep. He's going to have to get position. And I don't know that he can. He's going to have to get position on the seven ball. What's that ball on top of the rail there? Is it the six or the seven? It's the six, six ball. Oh, the seven, seven, seven ball. Six on the eight ball. Yeah. Get the position on the seven to come across and, and nibble the, the eight ball to get shape on the six. Well, Shane's in trouble here. I, does the six go anywhere? Does it go in the side? Uh, don't think so. You know, it it might if he shoots the seven real soft and the cue ball just maybe makes a half a rotation past the deuce. It does no, go on the yeah, side, yeah. but it's got to, you know, maybe, yeah, exactly. It's going to go just below that 13 too, by one revolution. Yeah, it's too tight for comfort, I think. I oh, think. Yeah, for sure. But it's hard. He, he, he can't, he's going to have to shoot the three ball next. And like I, like I said, you know, get that angle on the seven to, to get to the six. And actually, he can he can do it with one rail, or he can also go two rails forward to come up for the six. He's going to do this now, this way. Deep screw. He had this opportunity in this same shot before. He shot with the one ball. Now he knows he's got to slam it. This is going to be so tough. I think I would shoot the two ball first, shoot the three, and come to uh, about the middle of the table. And then shoot the the ball across. To break it out uh -huh. and hope. Uh, there's an hope. Either you break it out or you don't, and you are playing it. So, And he plays, you know, that accurate that it's in his, yeah, but it's in his yeah. repertoire. So the challenge is that he's breaking the balls towards a pocket that covered. The eight yeah. ball would be going that direction. The sure. But it's all he's got. <laughs> so he's got to do this. Just slow roll this, go to the side of the table as you suggested. And if he comes off just a little bit, it I tells me he's going. Oh, oh my. my. Another hung ball. And he and he actually had no angle. Right. I was thinking he might play an angle where he go two rails. Right, right. Hit the chalk and come up between the. I don't, you know, I don't think there was a bank there between uh, yeah, the. No. Make the six ball. Big break for Alex. He has a ball hanging. And the hanging ball really helps him out here. Sure. Yeah, but it's hanging deep. Now he's going to have to draw on this ball. He would have rather been up table and played a 13 with this. Off the rail. Yeah, you're not, not going to like this either. 
It looks like you need to just float this to the, the rail and play this eight ball in the side pocket. Struggle. You, you can't float it, can you? Because the no. key ball can end up going forward. He's got to, he's got to uh, fire this, not fire, but shoot it with Firm. Uh, inside English and get on the other side of the eight. Oh, oh what oh, a shot. What a shot. Just a nibble. <laughs> Alex just made a statement. I'm not going anywhere. Wow, 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 wow. Not anywhere at all. Your break, Shane. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm going to stand toe to toe. Forced error by both of them down the rail into tight pockets. Yeah, those misses to the tight pockets. Uh, you know. Oh, big, 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 oh, yeah. big break. Well, I've heard balls drop, so. And it's wide, wide, wide open. That's a nice spread. That's a really nice spread. High balls, and maybe yes, he plays the 10 ball first to get that 14 out of the way and then just run him out. Low balls is good too, but if that eight ball passes the 14, they're both good. I'd be shooting the high balls because of the three ball. Mm, yeah, I, I do like the stripes. I think he will take the stripes. I think his decision is to either shoot uh, this ball first well, he needs to get to the 14. Yeah. He did to leave that and then, last. And then the other ball, the ball on the other side, that one next. And he'll come to this nine, <laughs> the 14. Get off that Just one ball. He's, he's got it already. He's hmm. jacked up. Yeah, but doesn't have to go far. And he bumped the ball, but he got away with it. Back to the 10 ball. You can play position for either the 14 or the 9. Dead straight. Yeah, 14. It's a race to 10, as you can see on the on your scoreboard, right between the two uh, numbers that designate the player's score. The eight ball lays huge if he's going to go back and forth. So mm, I think he's yeah. going to play the 15 and spin around. No, no. He's going to go ahead and flirt with the eight, maybe go below it. But Probably where does this go? All the way to the four. Cut it. Missed it. Huge, huge, another huge error. I don't expect that at, uh, you know, out of Shane at all. You know, with what he just did there, maybe he should be listening to Freddie's commentary. Because <laughs> if he shoots that uh, 15 ball and goes around. At least he's shooting. <laughs> you know, keep, keeps, keeps uh, out of all those balls there. Yeah. But either way. This is how leads are made, and this is how leads, leads are, are lost. given yeah, up. That's leads right. are lost. You know, he played perfect to get the four. In fact, he had a perfect game to get the four. And yeah. now he's, now yeah. he's missed. He, he's, uh, he's missed balls, and he's missed two balls, three balls. Deflection got him on that. Maybe not used to the deflection yet. <laughs> Can't say that. He's been playing so good. And this young man right here, well, you know, he is. Coming up 40, on 40. Coming up on, I think he just turned to the 25th of June. Wow. 
a month ago. Easy here. You don't want to get in the side pocket or clip the eight ball. Well, this perfect. I always like that. So this is one of those area positions. Just come back and forth. Pretty standard shot. Well, what do we play here? The six ball, the two ball. I think he wants to get the three ball out of there. So six to three. And end it back in the center of the table. Either the one or the two are good key balls, and the seven isn't bad. I think any of those balls is a key yeah, ball any for of the eight, balls. any of them, because he just floats right to where he's at right now. All he has to do when he's done running those five balls is be where the cue ball is now. Yeah. But I do like going up for the three, and he did. Don't get straight. He did not. It's very good. Does he go all the way down for the seven? I think he just kind of stuns it over for the two ball. Going for the seven. Nope. Just went past the line, but I still think he's going to go for the seven. Seven, two, one. That's what I would do, but I'm not him. And uh, going to the one to be between the seven, two is exactly what I would not do. And as you can see, he got on the wrong side of both balls because he played for the side pockets late, and now he's confused. Of course he can get out, but... He's seeing what he's going to have. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, had he played the seven ball, of course I'm going to be second-guessing Alex Pagalain. Seven, <laughs> two, and the one just leads so easy to the eight ball. And now he's on the wrong side. He's going to go three rails around. Of course, again, he will get there. This and is a very standard three rail pattern. Yeah, and this is such a, such a nice three rail line that it, it leads him right straight into the eight. Yeah, it's not like he's going to be scaring no. the side pocket or no. anything like that. He knows so. exactly where it's going, and it's in line for the pocket. And he's liking it, and he's at three games. And he's, he's got the two breaks of serve back, and he'll be breaking to try, tie it up. How quick <laughs> the tide turns. <coughs> kind of like somebody blew out his candles. Drifts is popping, folks. It's hopping. Great crowd for the U.S. Open. They got leagues going on the seven foot tables. They got action in the back. <laughs> Not only are they holding a US Open at Griff's, they're running their business at the same <laughs> time. And we got league night tonight. Yeah. There are a couple of dozen league members here. They have no idea that right over there at that first table, two of the best players in the world. And Alex to break the balls here. Mm. Uh, sounds dry. Very dry. Very, very dry. Just look like. Uh, well, not exactly a wide open rack. Let's see how Shane takes care of business. Opportunity to turn that score up a little bit. Alex whittled it down to one one game, and here's his opportunity to nurse it back to two. Could play a triple combination in the second. That'd be exciting. Triple combination. Yeah. Just go up for yeah, up. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. Okay. Alex looking, I mean, uh, Shane looking for some chalk. Well, somebody hand him some chalk. They are one of our sponsors. Yep, take a good look. He's going to try to put this two ball in, maybe move it cue ball four inches and play a, yeah, he's, he's a touch of inside to hold this ball. 
They couldn't hold it, but now it's got the back cut triple, and he has, he is shooting it. I expect him to make this ball. We've got to get position on something. There's your triple combo. There it is, the triple combination, the triple Lindy. Two rails for the one ball. And he's stuffed the seven. Does it still pass? It does by a lot. The very appreciative crowd is excited about the triple combination. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. <laughs> We're pretty excited to see that one on YouTube. Where's he going here, Freddie? Is he going to go for the six ball next? Two rails forward? Well, I guess Is he going to come and draw back and play ball. the four ball to the same pocket? Well, he wanted to get on the straight on the six ball so he can slide over for the five ball in the corner pocket. So, well, he and then the seven, and the seven is also the issue, right? Mm -hmm. so he, yeah, he needs a six ball for both. For right, both exactly. Drives, He's exactly right. He needs the, the one ball needs to come up with two for two balls. Yet they're seven feet apart. The one thing about it, though, is uh, the four ball is there that he can use to get on the five. And he can actually get on the five right here. And follow forward. Follow forward. Two rails. Yeah. No, he's not doing that. Um, that looks so center ballish. What's he doing? You know, I see him aim the shot, and a lot of times <laughs> he aims down low like that. And, and then, then when he comes follow. through, he, he uses high. Yeah, he follows. Well, let's see what he's doing here. But this looks like it's coming back for the four. Or the six. See, came over. What a shot. shot! That is a spectacular shot. I was, seeking, I was seeking two rails to get there. He went one. Yeah, and uh, they're, again, they're a very appreciative crowd. Yeah. Is he going to slide for the four? Four. Yeah. He should have the four ball. This is uh, good. This is good. 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 As long as he's not running away from the 12 ball, but if he is, he could have to go all the way forward and back, or over and out. He just has to follow this past the 12. I, I, I wouldn't draw it back. Is, is he drawing back to for the other ball? Yeah, he's same just, thing he's that you just pass. talked about. Yeah. He aims it low, and then he comes in and hits it just above center and follows Yeah. What a nice out. I mean, this this was not wide open. I, where does he go here? Is he, oh, he's going to play the eight. Of course, he's going to play the eight. He's going to play the seven and yeah. uh, eight ball in the side pocket. Why wouldn't he? He always plays it in the side pocket. So because if he's straight, he probably draws it back and plays it in the same pocket as the seven. Well, let's see. All depends on his line. I think he'd rather play in the side pocket because he likes the side pocket. That's all. You know, he just simply likes the side pocket. <laughs> you just want him to shoot them all in the side. Yeah. And he I mean, shot. He shot four out of five in the side pocket. Yeah. It's good. It's going to be five out of six here in a second. Yeah. I mean, it seems like he certainly could draw straight back to the rail and be, you know, open. But no. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I didn't think so. I thought he would. Come on. This is a much higher percentage. <laughs> the corner pockets are, are much of, nicer to of shoot. Of course. Of course into. they are. But he's got so many in the side pocket. <laughs> wanted him to continue the trend. Go down in history and say, remember that when Shane Van Boning played eight ball and shot that eight ball in the side pocket, you know, nine out of ten times? Yeah. Now the percentage is going away. It can only go eight out of ten times. That was a really good out. I mean, uh, that 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 table had no business being run out. To he maneuvered. It did indeed. Big, big whack. A couple of balls in, and maybe another one. There goes another one. And one. Oh, it hung. Look how deep the four ball is. <laughs> Look how deep the three ball is. Yeah, he's got. <laughs> Smack that break pretty hard. Yeah, 
Yeah, this looks uh, easy. This looks pretty good for Shane. And the only problem really is the floor ball is so deep in there. To get it out, the cue ball sort of gets trapped on the cushion. He might play a combo with the seven. With the, the six. With the seven. The oh, six. Well, the, the six. six. Yeah. Could do with the seven right now too, if you really wanted to. One ball was deep. Combination. <laughs> no combination. Which do you prefer to play, the two ball first and then the one to come all the way down the table? I like playing the, 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 the two ball second. I play the one ball first and play a little angle to go down there. I do too, depending nope. on how this one ball, this one ball sits in the pocket. He prefers this. I don't even get how he's gonna get down there now. One rail to the side rail? Yeah, I guess so. I think you're going to get one of your wishes. Uh, yeah, he's got <laughs> his combination. And I'm, I'm talking about him shooting the A ball on the side. This is this is a bit dangerous, isn't it? I mean, I guess there's no way the six ball follows the four ball, does it? He just stops the cue ball and gives himself the angle to make the six and then has the cue ball, uh, you know, for the eight in the side. Okay, let's see him. Uh, okay, so he's so close to this, yeah. he can just soft roll this. Uh, I think he, yeah, I think he's going to kind of like stun it. And, or just bring it back a hair, not even a hair, because he doesn't want to be straight. In. Oh, yeah, see, this is what I thought he was going to uh, do his combination. It's tricky, right? It's a just silly tricky. And now he's going to be the entire length of the table away to shoot at a hanging ball to play position in the side pocket. <laughs> Let's see how he does this. And he is going to have to slow roll it if he plays that, or he can come up and uh, I don't see him coming up into those balls. Rail He's first. Rail first. He's going to the corner or the, or the side. side. He's side, already he called said. the side pocket. Mm -hmm. Going for four out of six into the side pocket. <laughs> have sharp points. Amazing. Six to three in a race of ten. Racing to single race to ten for the 2018 U.S. Open eight ball championship. Well, Alex uh, cannot be giving up dry breaks needs to run out every time he steps up to the table because Shane just ran out a couple of racks that were really tricky. Alex is a grinder. He's he gonna, he's gonna grinder. fight all the way, so. Shane can't relax and he knows he can't relax. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very true. Yeah, tr Shane realized that uh, there is truly no lead big enough when it comes to eight ball and the lion. Well, you know, the lion whittled it down to one game and now it's back to three. Another dry break. This is not going to do it for Alex. Could he keeps soon dry be break. four. That's right. A little dejected there. Hit those really well. But it keep, if he keeps on going dry break, that's not going to get it done. High balls coming up, I believe. Gennaro needs to move this as that 13 has landed on top.
taking the stripes. <laughs> Zooming the cue. And this is good. You go to play yeah. the 13 after the 10. Sure. And then the 11, and on, then that's yeah. it. All, all open. Very straight poolish. a little bit here and it'll just fall forward to here yep. and a half maybe a, maybe a couple more hairs because yeah. he's going to cut the ball the next ball in the 11 ball after yeah. the 13 go around I guess I'll just probably go up and play the nine ball draw it straight back into the eight or come around he's Looking to see where he wants to be. I like it straight back. Maybe even tap the eight. Up and over. <laughs> Up and over in between the seven and the two. Right there now, up for the four, for the twelve, and then he'll be bringing it back a little bit for the, for the eight. Pretty simple. Connect yeah. the dots. Yeah. He just has to make sure he stays off the cushion, six inches off the cushion at least. That's good. About where he's at now, if not a little closer. No jars. And this eight ball, now this eight ball is like the one that Torsten missed. Yes, it is. And then, but again, he was, in. he was still a little closer to the rail. He's got a good good bridge on this. Okay. I know he's, he'll. But Torsten yeah. moved when he shot that Oh, ball. yeah, yeah. Didn't feel comfortable, didn't yeah, look no. comfortable. This guy won't move. Let's take a watch. What a move. Still. <laughs> Seven games to three. Look at our sponsors, Predator 1080 Chalk, Acme Cases, Cyclop Balls, and they are using them along with uh, Simona's 860 Tournament Cloth. We are at Griff's Bar and Billiards, and this is produced and presented by Q Sports International. Seven to three, we're getting into a He's closing very, in on the, he's on, the, on, the, on the finish line here. Yeah, he's coming yeah. into the home stretch. He is definitely coming in the home but stretch. He's breaking, so he could easily go to eight. He played four games of perfect pool, the very opening uh, four games. Yeah, two dry breaks by Alex has put Shane even farther ahead. Yeah, and then then uh, Alex whittled it down to one, to one, uh, three so to four. That is the truth. And the, now uh, Shane has won three games in a row. Well, this one's going to be a little tougher. First shot has got to be a uh, high ball. If he can shoot one, it's going to be the 15. But once he shoots the 15, it's clear for the low balls. Well, then I recommend to Shane not to miss. Not to miss, that's right. He, he won't. It's coming, coming back. One ball off that. Pretty that good. Ball. And if he gets on the 13, he may shoot the 13, 14 and go back down too. If the 14, uh, 13 passes, if it doesn't pass, then forget that. It does not pass. 13 doesn't pass the two ball, so he's down to the 11 ball or the nine. 11 ball, slide over. Well, two rails around All the going. way around. Which pocket is, is he playing the 13 if he didn't play the 13 last shot? Apparently it does go. Corner pocket. <laughs> it's still good. It goes even though he didn't shoot the last time. Slide over. I 
predict he is not going to shoot the eight ball into the bottom side pocket. <laughs> 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 but he might shoot it in the upper side pocket. I bet you're going to predict he's going to shoot the 12 ball next. <laughs> Good like that. <laughs> yeah, the only question is whether or not he'll play the 8 ball in the side pocket or the uh, nine, uh, 8 ball in the same pocket that the 9 ball goes in. Certainly looks from here that he's playing the 8 ball in the same pocket that the 9 ball goes in. Uh, more than likely. He just might. Yeah, he will. He could stop it right there and uh, play, it in, play it in the side. No, he can't. It's too much of an angle to stop it there. Cue ball will probably come right across there. There we go. There we go. Just to get to eight. Shane is just running now. Just simply running away. Gosh, he's looking strong. He's looking very strong. He's looking as strong as he's looking at the ten ball. And the numbers show it. Alex is, you know, he can't he can't seem to hold this runaway train. Yeah, he needs to make balls on the break. And he's and also uh, fed it. He needs to, needs to have Shane miss, but that's not happening when Shane breaks like that. Well, you know, there are rules against hitting your opponent over the head when he's bending over to shoot. So hmm. that's not going to happen. I don't believe that's in the CSI rule book, but we'll have to take a look. <laughs> yeah, Shane, I mean, Alex, he just, this train is leaving the station without him. Three to eight, Alex is uh, breaking. Two dry breaks, his last two breaks led to two wins by Shane. Shane has won the last four games, all on full table runouts. So then he's had four perfect games again. Yep. He had the first four and, and now the last four. four. And he gave up three games in between. Alex is uh, gonna crunch up this uh, Mass, um, magic rack. Oh. Play CSIPool.com. Visit the website, folks. There's no. a lot of information there. Last year's comeback by Alex was around this time, wasn't it? Was it even worse? Was it, he at, was he it, at it eight was to about, two? It, it was pretty close to this. Okay, here comes it the was comeback. Pretty close to this He's right going to need it. He's going to need it. But Shane looking awfully good, looking like the best player in the world well, that he is. Looking awfully close to perfect. Yes. I think okay. Alex is going to try to swing harder. Usually breaks right in that 20, 21 mile an hour zone. Guess the news. Oh, he's made a ball. No, he hasn't. Oh, no. no, he hasn't. He didn't make a ball yet. That's three drive breaks in a row. Has and he had like a total of five drive breaks now? Well, oh, no, no, he didn't have drive breaks before. He just missed shots in the first two, uh, his first two uh, breaks. Whatever he's had, he seems a little dejected and disappointed. Uh, he knows that when he breaks dry or he gives, he lets this crack and loose, <laughs> um, it's costing him game after game after game. Shane needs to find a way to break out the 10 ball or shoot the, shoot the low balls. Mm. I don't believe he's going to play the combination, so he's playing the uh, 13. Strike. If he plays the 13, what's he doing with the 14? Oh, okay, no, he played, played the, the strike. Played the solid. Played solid. Played the solid. And if that's the case, the eight ball may pass somewhere. But where does the seven ball go? Well, once the five ball's out of the way, the eight ball goes in this corner pocket on the bottom. Very the true, Five ball goes true. to the side. Five ball goes to the side after either the two or the seven. I think he uses a two to get to the seven, the seven to get to the five. They lay real nice. They really do. All right, one ball in the corner pocket playing for the three ball, bouncing off the nine ball. Three ball off the nine. So he's playing the one ball first. And he oh, is actually going to, th to that ball first. I expect him to go forward with it. 
He's coming back to get uh, almost straight in on the ball for the side pocket. Oh. I think he'd want to do that, but unless he can go right to the nine ball, like above the nine ball. Oh, he doesn't have to break no, it out. The seven no. actually passes. Yeah, the seven passes the ball uh, uh, next to it over there, and then the, he gets her from the two. Yeah, well, that's all different then. I thought that the seven <laughs> ball didn't pass, and therefore. Oh, he's going to shoot the five yeah, ball so now. now. It's the three, five, I mean, three, two. Yeah, six, three, two. <laughs> I don't, think slow he'll roll. Mess. I don't think he'll mess uh, with that seven ball. Very, very slow. He's going to crawl this. He didn't have to crawl it. He's stuffed up table. This one he slow rolls because he wants to stay right there. If that's the case, wow. Slow roll. And now he backs this up two rails. I think he'd go backwards two rails. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll he, he can go either forward or back. Uh, now it's too small a landing area to go forward. He's going to have to come back. And you saw where he just aimed from, so that's where he wants to hit with this. He doesn't have a full pocket in that corner. Oh yeah, he may actually just play higher over the five ball and then bump the eight when he hits this. Uh, hits the. Uh, I, that's what I thought he would do. I thought he would just. Uh, that's perfect. I thought he would just come straight up into the into the 15 ball there and uh, and get on this five because he wants to come back a little bit after it. Yep. Stopped it right there. On the hill is Mr. Van Boning right after this shot. And still looking mighty perfect. A man on the hill. He's won nine games to perfection. Yeah, it really is. Five and Looked four. Fantastic. And lost three in between. Yes, he's only made, he's made that one mistake. And he missed the ball. He missed them all. I don't think he's going to be denied here. This is going to no. be a break and run. And um, he is going to give a big fist pump. Unfortunately, I don't think Alex can... You know, he, he, he's got his rope around a train, and uh, yeah, it's, he, it's just running. He just <laughs> it's in that full train, steam. That train has left, and Alex is uh, trying to jump on the caboose, but now he's at the caboose with the rope. Probably oh, he almost over. overcut. <laughs> he he amped the bajee out of that, and he's got a high ball to shoot at. But uh, guess the news. Oh, he can shoot a low ball. If he has a solid, he's going to take solids because the two ball goes, and he can still make the eight without moving the ball. Problem is the seven ball in the middle of the table and by, right by the spot. I think this is going to be tough out yeah, no matter what. Yeah, this is a tough out. High balls is no good. Low balls is no good. If the seven, <laughs> if the seven goes, he, he, he can uh, get position right after this one uh, for the seven to get on the deuce. But I, oh, I, he's, he, he, this is a tough out. Tough he, out. He's taking the solids. We saw Shane lose on this table versus Clenty Kachi, sending him to the losers bracket, the one loss bracket. A lot of people thought, well, that might be it for Shane. And no, like, no. look at him now. He looks strong, as strong as ever, completely and unstoppable. And that happened in the 10 ball, too. Yes, that's uh, right. He Mitch lost Ellerman, early to Mitch Ellerman, Mitch Ellerman who, who really the, ran him over. I mean, Mitch looked did. good. M yeah, he did. Mitch looked really good. And um, he come up a little short here and uh, sent him over. But then he came back, and, and he put Mitch in his place. Yeah. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch missed some balls. Mitch, uh, but the, the what hurt Mitch the, the most was the dry breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as uh, Christopher Walken might say, Sometimes the lion has to remind the jackals who <laughs> he is. Are you calling? Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna let that one go. He's got the little smirk going on. Shane is going to shoot like a man in the lead, I think. There's no ball he's going to not shoot at. And he's he's going to rear back and fire at a couple just to get wherever he needs to. 
The key to this rack is the seven deuce. Yeah. And he may want to shoot that last. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. The one ball, the three ball, the seven, and he's, he, he gets down there for the... He might go for the... No, because that would it would hurt. I think with ball in hand, going from the seven to the two is tough enough because it's got to be seven, two, and then the eight. Yes. Well, the, the eight passes. Yes, but the seven to the two to get the, the yeah. position for the... For the eight is, uh, and is, I was going to say he might come down now for it. For the two. Yeah. And then uh, the position on the eight ball is something that lands him down the end rail. I think that's right. If he hits the seven, he'll end up playing a one, two railer, three railer well, from the one ball to eight. finish this off. Problem is, if he misses the seven, he doesn't have a shot. Right. He'll have the one to get on it and take that back, but it's going to be a tough shot. Yeah, and he has to actually be on the seven ball when he yeah. hits this. Yeah. See, he's missed, missed the ball, and, and he's got this. no shot. Yes, I didn't like that. Not at all. Bank. <coughs> bank the one, bank the seven up table, and stun down the end rail with a great way to finish. <laughs> well, this may give Alex a chance to, to mount some kind of a comeback. Well, the ball that's on top of the eight ball, it doesn't go anywhere, does it? No. Yeah, it's, that's just, you, with it, ball I in hand, it does. I think it goes to this uh, lower pocket, and he can get there from the 14. So can can he run out? The answer is yes. Can Alex run out? Yes. Skid? No, he, he just missed. Did he just miss? It looked to me when he th shot it that the ball moved. Oh, remember I he? said okay. earlier that I'd never seen him skid a ball? Mm -hmm. That may have been the first time, but he didn't complain about it. But it looked like when I saw it, I'm going to look at the replay. It's tough for me to see the replay. but I haven't I, seen. I called out a skid immediately mm -hmm. when he shot, so it looked like I had, no, I had no idea whether or not it was going to go in. Okay. I haven't seen Shane complain about much. No, no. And I've seen him look at obvious roll-off shots and stuff <laughs> like that, and he just, hmm. He'll kind of like, you know, make a face and a little bit of a grimace, I guess you call it. And well, uh, it's too far away from us to actually frowned. see what happens. Well, this ain't no gimme. Let's look at it again. And from where I was standing, it looked like it skid, or at least maximum collision-induced throw. Is that what skid stands for? <laughs> it's a little <laughs> bit more than maximum. It's extreme, okay. additional, grimy, chalk-laden, contact-induced throw. How would you like this? You're now 9-3, to three and you've got to bank this ball. But if you bank and lag it, you have uh, covered a pocket and at least get to survive, and this is in the pocket, so... Oh, no, it's not, not going to make it, is it? Is it? He'd rather have it hang. <laughs> Alex isn't clapping. Another shot here. Tap, if he taps his 12, he's completely done. No, no tap on the 12. He's going to break it out and play safe. All right. Where it passes. Shane has a kick at the one ball. There's no place to, for this to end up good for Shane. Um, against the rail. Either way, he, he's, it's going to afford Alex a shot at the 14 right. to try to open those two balls up. He tried to move it, and I don't it's still. It does go to the bottom pocket. The 12 yeah, does. As we view it in the bottom pocket. Yeah. But he has to get a shot to get there. And with ball in hand, Alex will be able to handle this. Will he get ball in hand? I don't think so. I think he hits this. If he hits it and makes it, he wins the game. Yeah, that's right. And it would be, 
he hits this and makes this ball, this crowd will go nuts. Absolutely bat. Yeah. So Alex will make this ball, but he has to hold for the other side. Mm. Will he make this ball or will he play the combo? Uh, looks like the combo lays the wrong, he's got a back cut. Okay. Cut combo. Whereas if he shoots this uh, 14, and makes it or hangs it, it it's hanging is as, as strong here. Doesn't do any good. He'd rather just run right out. He's got to make a great shot to run right out. But you're right. He, you know, that's what he'd rather do. <laughs> he'd rather just I run definitely out. Definitely agree. See if he hangs it and plays a safety. Uh, there's not a safety because he can't. He can't hide on both the one and the seven. He could just cover up the ball. Roll right on top of the 12. Real, real soft. Kind of like this. <laughs> now, if he can make this seven ball, he can come up Get a, get a, get, go above the side pocket. Oh, he's going over there. Okay, he can't make it to the right side. So forget what I was thinking. Well, let's see how he hits this ball. He's got a couple of spots. If he had ball in hand with uh, for the one ball, he can get to the eight. Yeah, with yeah, well, ball in hand. Exactly. So, <laughs> so it's available. There's something there. This is a very I nice, think he's nice shot. It. I think he's missed. He it. did yeah. miss it. It took a long time to develop. <laughs> and Alex looks like he has a shot on the 13. Yeah, but he, he, he's got to follow. Not a simple one. One way or the other, Alex makes this and has to run out because any kind of a miss, and I think Shane can execute a nice shot on this uh, A12 off the one. He'll find his way to get the angle on the one and get down there. He's got a shot. He's got a shot. I thought so. I was just about to say, you know, things he hasn't been shooting at a ball in quite some time that probably if he can put this is yeah. Just above the thirteen. Yeah, there here's here we go. There's not many spots. You could shoot this with ball in hand to get right. on this eight ball. Right. If he can put this cue ball just above the 13 there and, and shoot the one to the side and come down with the cue ball between the eight and the 12, or just run into the 12, he's home free. Yeah, he's got to get there. Yeah, he's got yeah, that's exactly get there. where he's got to get. One rail. Get and into this the is all speed to get there. And he can't just, you, he, he, he can't lag the, well, if he ever gets there, he can't just lag it on the 12. I Freddie, don't think. Yeah. Freddie, he can draw this ball two rails. Draw this ball two, head, head rail, come way over here to the middle diamond and go towards that one in line. He can draw this ball. Okay, here we go. That's certainly what, uh, I don't think see he's not doing that. He's gonna just, just lag. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. out there to the keep spin. Up, but is Did he, he there? stay above? He's uh, there, he's he, there. He's there, perfect. If he hits a full in the face, if he just lags it there, he could be trapped on top of it. So I think he's hitting this. No, he's coming after speed, it. Yeah. Speed, he's got to hit lot. this. He's hit it there. enough with, with the with separation. That's that's lagging it. That's lagging it. Uh, that's not going to do it. Okay. <laughs> he got there. He got there for the shot, though. I will yeah. give him that. There's one of his sponsors, which is part of CSI, the USAPL. They are holding their national championships here in Las Vegas. At the same time that the BCAPL are holding their world championships at the Rio. 
half the crowd probably jumped on the shuttle and came over here, the free <laughs> shuttle. <laughs> okay. What? What's he shooting here? Safe him on his own ball. He's called it in the corner. Double kiss, slide over. He doesn't like those three trick shots. to the side pocket. Is he going to try? I like the three railer to the side pocket. Feels like he can just tuck it in there and safe him on his own ball. He's slamming this all the way around table. One, four two, rails, three, short. short. <laughs> What did Alex do? I don't know. I don't know. That was awfully close. Uh, shot the four railer. Alex is doing something out there. We can't see it. Why would you want to made it anyway? That's not nice. You heard that. He says, why would you want to make it anyway? That's not nice. Meanwhile, Alex doesn't have an out, so oh, yeah. probably play a safety if he can play one like right now. No need to make any more balls. He's going to, unless he can, if he can get into position and break these balls now, there's a safety. There's a safety, and Shane can actually hit this ball. He can actually hit this ball. He can bank it. Yeah, but this well, is this is not the, this table. It doesn't matter how slow you can go. There isn't a path for this one to go in. You on, give and this most guy, other tables. You give this guy a, a, a chance to make a hero shot. And He's guess what? He <laughs> just came close to making one right there with that four railer. Let's see. One, two, three rails down the bottom left. I'm if looking at, at maybe one rail over by the right past that 12 ball. Well, we just looked down the down that line and there wasn't a pocket available. So let's see if he proves me wrong. Off the 12. Off the 12. No, no, no. It would have <laughs> to have gone I mean? off yeah. the 12. And he, he didn't miss it by much. He did I think. not miss it by much wow. at all. And he has not left an easy shot. <laughs> I'm Alex. telling you, 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 you give this guy, you give Shane an opportunity. Um, and he's coming right at you. Alex, Alex going to shoot this ball. I, and, and well, he has just, to. He's going to shoot it. And if he misses it, he'll throw the towel oh. in. He'll play the, he'll play the 14 ball in the side pocket and hold the cue ball against the rail on the, on the left. So the 12 ball covers the eight or the 14 ball in the corner pocket. Either way, I think he holds the cue ball on the rail at the top of your screen. Somebody playing with the camera. Okay, don't get let this cue ball get away from me, Alex. Missed it, covered the 12. See the, see the Shane on one rail, ball. kick it. I think he will two rail kick it. Two rail kick is right on. No, he's gonna go. Looks, not sure what he's doing here. How he's measuring this. Measuring it up. One rail, one diamond, diamond down. One rail, okay. Center cut. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot, what an out, what a champion. Shane Van Boning beats Alex Pagalion. 10 games to three to win the 2018 eight ball US Open Championship, winning both the 10 ball and eight. Wow. Congratulations, Shane Van Boney. I'm going to try to catch that back, John. Thanks.
Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of that ending?